our big prank. Also, I have a special will be crowning your choice for Miss Kia's Hairspray 1962. My big break. Well, isn't she a lovely slim girl? I guess Amber's pretty, but she can't dance. Classic little spastic. <gasps> oh my god! I'm gonna kill myself! Look, she's wearing the Claudia's castle ring! Hey, gang, don't forget to watch Mom and me next Thursday on Mother Daughter Day. And uh, I want to be your Miss Teenage Hairspray. Remember, a vote for me from you is a vote for me! What an unexpected outlet, Amber. And speaking of expecting the unexpected, our own fun-loving, free-wheeling friend will be taking a leave of absence from the show. How long have we gone, Brenda? Nine months. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! So, it seems like I've been for a girl who's just as fun-loving, but maybe not quite as free-wheeling. Want to be one of the nicest kids in town? Come to tomorrow. Come on down to the station WZZT Television. Oh. My God! It's the dream of a lifetime. I have to go audition. Oh, my God! Now that would be enough theft for one day. No one's auditioning for anything. There'll be no cutting school in this house. But this is her glad. Penny, go tell your mother she wants you. She does? I better hurry. Bye, Mrs. Turnblad. Bye, Tracy. Whoa, rush hour traffic. Hi, <laughs> ladies. Ever since I got that new shipment of exploding bubble gum, business downstairs is booming. So how are my two funny honeys? Oh, stop it, Wilbur. You're the funny one. Daddy, tomorrow I'm auditioning to dance on the TV show. Oh, no, you're not. You're going to have to go farther than that to get around me, young lady. No one's auditioning for anything. And what did I tell you about that hair? Oh, riding up like a teenage Jezebel? Mother, you're so 50s. Even our first lady, Jackie B. Kennedy, wraps her hair. Yeah, well, you're no first lady, are you? She's a hair hopper, that's what she is. And you've got to put it in attention again. Wilbur, talk to her. Girls like her, people like us, you know what I'm saying. They don't put girls like us on television. Oh, except to be laughed at. Now, Tracy, this TV thing, you really want it? Oh, it's my dream, Daddy. Then you go for it. This is America, babe. you got to think big to be big. Being big is the problem, Wilbur. When I was your age, my parents begged me to run away with the circus. But I said no. That's what you want. I have dreams of my own. I dreamt of opening a chain of joke shops worldwide. So, okay, I still only got one. But someday, if I can figure out how to keep the air from leaking out of my sofa-sized movie cushion, I'm going to make a noise heard around the world. <gasps> Follow your dream, babe. I'm grabbing an orange crush and heading back down to the Hardy Hearts. I've got my dream, and I want it. <laughs> You're not helping, Wilbur. Thanks, Daddy. Tracy, get back here. I have hampers of laundry to do with my diet clothes are wearing off. <sighs> but, Mom, I want to be famous. You want to be famous? Learn how to get blood out of a car upholstery. Now that's a skill you take to the bank. You think I wanted to spend my life washing and ironing other people's clothing? No, I wanted to design them. I thought I'd be the next biggest thing in her ears. Well, you better be careful what you ask for. <laughs> now start folding. Ugh. All I was doing was watching Corey Collins over at Tracy. Didn't I forbid you from listening to that? Race music? Oh, if the police ever locate your father, he'll punish you, bud. You're dancing was atrocious today, Amber. I'm willing to lie, cheat, and steal to win you that big hairspray crown, but you have got to work with me here. Oh, now look at that's it. Stop. That was no way to treat clean clothing. One day, you're going to own endless occidental laundry. And will you be ready? I hope not. Don't contradict me. Don't disobey me. Don't even think about going to that audition. Please! No! Mother! Stop! Stop telling me what to do. Don't! Don't! 